tropical storm. Harold has officially made landfall. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, as most of you guys know, we had Tropical Storm Herald roll through here in South Texas yesterday. Uh, sustained winds at about 35 mile an hour. We had gusts up to about 60 or 65 mile an hour. Uh, a lot of rain came through and unfortunately it exposed a lot of things that were wrong with this shed. Uh, this video is strictly informational for you guys in case you're wondering about trying to do a shed house, things to look out for, uh, things I came across and uh, this was the first major rain that we've had since I got the building and it definitely exposed a lot of things that uh, were not done correctly and things that need to be fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of this stuff. Uh, this is the next day, so the water is already dried up on it, but uh, I'm gonna make a trip out to the shed dealer here in a little bit and uh, just uh, bounce some ideas off of them, what went wrong, uh, if they're gonna come out and try to fix this stuff. Uh, it was a lot of major issues, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, it's another scorcher today. I got to keep all the windows closed because we have those outer rain bands coming from uh, the storm that's left over from that tropical storm. So uh, it's very hot in here. I think it was 88% humidity today and it's only, I don't know, 10 o'clock right now. So it's already 90 degrees, 88% humidity. So I'm gonna be sweating a lot. So I apologize if I look like a hot mess in here. But anyways, I wanted to point out real quick, this is not a bashing video of the Dirksen dealer. I've had a lot of good experiences with them. And uh, this one, it just, uh, I think based off the time crunch that they had to build it, I think they may have uh, forgot to do some stuff or something. I'm not 100% sure, I can't really talk for them, but I wanted to show you some of the things that we came across. Uh, there was quite a bit of leaks in this building. I'm not gonna lie, when I came out here yesterday and looked at everything, I was pretty upset. I spent a lot of money on this building and I was not expecting it to uh, be leaking like this. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. This is, uh, like I said earlier, just informational for you guys. If you are planning on building a shed to house or uh, thinking about doing this thing, watch this, learn from my mistakes, uh, ask a lot of questions while you're at the dealer and uh, just make sure you do a lot of research on it. Uh, this building uh, was my most expensive building yet. I'll be 100% honest with you. It cost me just under $31,000 for this building. Uh, yeah, you heard that right, 31,000. Uh, it's 2023, everything is more expensive, metal, wood, everything. So uh, I know it sounds like a lot because it is a lot, but uh, to give you an idea, back in, I think 2017, when I ordered the uh, 16 by 50 up there in Dallas, that one was about $18,000, uh, 16 by 50. Uh, that one we didn't add any windows it was just a dormer up top a door in the front and then back uh, the reason this one was so expensive like i said one inflation two i have a lot of windows in this building that i had them install uh, to give you an idea these uh, three by five windows right here that i have in my bedroom in my living room and on the other side of the living room i have six of them those were roughly i think around 300 dollars each that's a uh, including the window and for them to install them so you do the math there that's with tax and everything, it's probably just under $2,000. Uh, the doors themselves, I think, are a couple of hundred dollars for them to install. I have two of them. Uh, these uh, two by five windows over here, I think they were like $250 a piece, something like that. These prices are just, uh, I'm just uh, guessing on what it was. I have the documents and stuff, but I do know the final product was 31,000. So all these windows, uh, these are upgraded windows. They're not the normal, typical windows you get with the shed. These are the thermopane. Uh, windows uh, so that was an upgrade the flooring itself was an upgrade as well I got the three-quarter inch uh, this one is a uh, I think they make it with Gorilla Glue so that was an additional cost I uh, added the LP lap siding on the outside of the building that was probably the most expensive add-on on the building that was about five thousand dollars to add that on uh, I know you're probably thinking damn that's a lot of money because it is and uh, I love the way the LP lap siding looks on the outside uh, it gives it more of that cabin feel, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, these dormers up here, this is my first time having these kind. And uh, those are the sunburst dormers. And I believe it was about $1,500 or $1,600 uh, to add each one. So that's already another $3,200 added on. Uh, 
and so on. There's so much things that I added on here. So that's why it was $31,000. And when I'm spending that much money, I work my ass off and I expect to have a good product. And uh, there were definitely, I don't know if there were shortcuts that were made on this building, but as y'all know, if you've been following along, it took uh, about two months for them to get this building over here. And I kept calling and calling and calling. It wasn't the dealer here in Rivera. They were very helpful. It was the place that was making it down the valley that was actually building it. So I think with me keep asking and asking, I think they kind of rushed through it and took a little bit of shortcuts here and there. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. But uh, when we came in here, dad and I spent about 30 minutes looking around and trying to assess where the hell all this water was coming in at. Uh, this section over here is my living room. There was a big puddle over here. Uh, there was a puddle in the middle of the house, which means that it was coming from the peak of the house. Uh, both doors had water uh, coming in at the bottom. And then uh, over here in my bedroom was the main thing. Down here, uh, where this ladder was, this whole section had a big puddle of water in it. So uh, I was very frustrated. I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I'm gonna go talk to the dealer here in a second. And uh, they're very nice people. I've known them since I was a baby. We went to church together. Uh, they didn't build it once again, so I'm not bashing them. Uh, so I'm sure they'll make it right. But anyways, there was a lot of leakage in here. And the more we were looking at it, the more stuff we were finding. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to show you all what was wrong with this and uh, things to look for when you're uh, going to look at these type of sheds. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Uh, like I said, you spend a lot of money, you expect a good product, and that's exactly what I expected. So anyways, I'm gonna show y'all some of this stuff real quick, so stay tuned. All right, so we're up here in my living room at the Sunburst Dormer. Uh, initially, we thought that it was uh, leaking from the peak and coming down these two by eights over here. That's not the case. Uh, down over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see right quick. I'll have to uh, take you in for a closer look, but uh, there's daylight coming in on this side of the two by eight and also on the back side. The other side's a little bit harder to see, so hopefully I can fit the camera in there. Uh, this is what I thought we were going to have issues with was this uh, window over here. That was something that they uh, warned me about at the dealer saying sometimes these uh, windows specifically will leak. Uh, there was actually no water coming from them. Thank goodness. But uh, anyways, uh, there is light coming in over here. And then in return, we think that the wind and the rain that was blowing sideways was, was coming in and leaking down the side of the house and then puddling up in my living room. So I'm going to take you in for a closer look. These are things that you guys need to look out for when buying these sheds. All right, so you can see all that light back there. I'll see if I can zoom in a hair on it. But this is just to the left side of that two by eight. Sorry, it's shaking up here. I'm trying to film this as close as I can, but there's a lot of daylight coming in on this side. And then as well over here on the other side, you can see all that sunlight coming in over there. So definitely an easy way for this water to get in here. And then what it did, it just goes right down the side of the house and then puddles all the way up down there on my floor. So that's basically what it looks like on all four corners uh, where you have that light coming through, meaning it's easy access for uh, rain to come in. And uh, yeah, I was very upset when I saw that. Uh, this side over here in my bedroom was a little bit worse. I don't need to show you because I just showed you the other side. So uh, it's the same thing up in this corner over here and then in the, uh, the bathroom side and also the back side of my living room as well. So uh, the one over here in my bedroom was a little bit bigger. I can see daylight from here, which I'll probably flip you around here in a second, just show you that from down here. I don't feel like getting back up on the scaffolding. But uh, yeah, this side over here in my bedroom, what it did is it uh, had a whole bunch of water coming in right there and it was running across the top plate above my window and then just coming down the window, the whole sill on the bottom was wet. And then like I said, the, the wall was wet. My floor had a big puddle in it. Uh, when I say big, where the ladder is, like I said, it's probably almost a five foot diameter of uh, wetness over here. And uh, up here at the top, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can zoom you in real quick from this angle. So I don't have to do another clip because I'm lazy. Let's see, where are we at? Right, right there, you can see already seeing some light coming in. So like I said, uh, let me zoom back out. Hey, what's up? Look at my ugly face. But yeah, uh, I can clearly see it from here now. So uh, that was a major issue for me. Like I said, $31,000 for a building. I didn't expect uh, to be seeing a whole lot of sunlight and stuff through here. Uh, the next major one was up here at the peak. Uh, basically the, the whole rest of the house, they butted everything up nicely. Uh, there was no gaps. And then uh, we noticed this gap up here and uh, dad said something about that. that looks like some sunlight coming out up there. 
And this is the part that's right above my electrical panel, so I cannot have anything leaking there. Uh, what I'll do, I have good zoom on this camera, so I think I'm just gonna stay down here and zoom up there, show y'all some of the daylight that's coming out, and uh, see if they can come out here and get this fixed, because it's such a mess out here. All right, so there's the gap right there. You can clearly see just to the side of it how it butts up real nice right there. And you come over here, there's a big gap, and you can clearly see daylight coming through, and unfortunately, that's where it was dripping through, and it was coming right down here where my electrical box was, and then there was a puddle of water right where that spot is. So there's not much I can do about it right now. Like I said, I'm going to head over there in a minute and uh, go talk to them, but those were the the issues that are causing a lot of the rain to come in. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure if the window in my bedroom was leaking just because there was so much water over there. It was hard to tell where it was coming from other than up at the top. So uh, I got to go outside for a second. Y'all can just see it's just so freaking hot in here. <clears throat> there was no uh, airflow or anything. But uh, once again, this uh, siding over here, $5,000 add-on right here. I love the way it looks. It, uh, like I said, gives it more of that cabin feel. Uh, the only thing is, they didn't seal any of this stuff up out here on the uh, the trim work uh, around the doors, none of that stuff. And uh, I don't know if that's something that they typically do. I want to say on my old buildings that I had that they did seal up around all the windows and stuff. And for some reason they didn't. And there's some big gaps. Sorry, you can hear the uh, cascadas uh, or cicadas out here making that noise. But uh, there's just a lot of gaps from where the trim is and where these... Uh, these uh, LP lap siding where they meet up and same thing on the back side. Uh, luckily for me, we got all the winds from the north. So there wasn't too much uh, issues on the back side for now. Uh, I'm sure if we get a southern rain, it'll be the same thing going on. So if they do come out here, I'm gonna try to make them uh, see if they can look at the back side as well and get all that stuff fixed. These doors, um, Mines will be honest, right guys? Uh, I've always had issues with the shed uh, doors. They always seem like they have some kind of leak to them. I had a lot of issues in Terrell at that shed to house with it leaking. Uh, we just tried to adjust it. Uh, I'll show you on the front door on this house. There's a little gap at the bottom and then also they didn't seal up anything around it. So obviously there's water gonna get in there. So uh, <laughs> over there in Terrell, we built porches on the front and back, which uh, it eliminated all the leaks at that point. But uh, this is stuff to look out for guys. It's not 100% uh, move in ready as soon as you get a building. I uh, Technically you could live in it, but there are things that leak. Uh, down here, the seals aren't the best on the door. And then on the front side, instead of walking all the way around, I'm just gonna come right back through the house real quick. And I'm gonna shut the door. I'm gonna show you clear as day, there's a gap right here. Uh, I think when they put the shims in on these doors, they didn't put them in properly. Uh, like I said, they build these things fairly quickly. I think it probably takes maybe two or three days for them to build it. They just have them, it's like an assembly line. They just build one, move on to the next, build one, move on to the next. And uh, like I said, I had to keep calling them because it was taking a while for them to get mine done. And I think they may have uh, just rushed through the process and forgot some stuff. But over here in the front, as you can see down there at the bottom, you can see daylight coming through. Uh, I think this is the cause of these shims that they put in, trying to uh, level out the door and make it right. Uh, unfortunately, it's leaving a little bit of light down at the bottom. The top is not as bad. I don't see really any light coming at the top. It's mainly at the bottom, which is a, a big issue. It allows a lot of water in here. And then uh, if I come back out here real quick, once again, we don't think that they uh, sealed any of this stuff up over here. So water can get in right here on the trim. It's like they just slapped the trim on right after they put the door on. So it allows a lot of water to come down and uh, come into my house and like I said there was a, a, a puddle down here and like I said depends on which way I move the camera you can see a lot more light and uh, yeah so that's another thing I'm gonna have to have them look into and see if they can get that fixed all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a trip down there to the dealer once again I'm not bashing the company I'm just saying uh, stuff that's wrong with this one just so you guys get a good understanding of what these buildings actually have and uh, what it takes to be able to uh, fix one of these things up into a, a proper livable house. So anyways, I'm gonna go talk to them real quick and then we'll check back in. All right, I just got back from uh, the dealer. Uh, once again, I, like I said earlier, I've known these guys uh, since I was a baby. We all went to church together. Good people down here in Rivera. Uh, they were very uh, empathetic with me and uh, let me know that they're gonna try to make things right for me. Uh, once again, it was not them that built the building. The building was built down in the valley about an hour and a half from here so 
uh, we talked about everything. He made a bunch of notes. Uh, I think he said he's going to come out here next week and then also have one of his uh, work guys come out as well and uh, one of his maintenance guys to come uh, look at everything and try to get everything fixed for me. Uh, it was a good conversation. Uh, I told him, I said, it's uh, nothing to get you all personal. It's just I wanted to make sure that I got this stuff fixed. With the uh, price that I spent on the building, I expected to have uh, everything as good as possible in there. And he agreed. And uh, I don't know, we just had a good conversation overall. So I appreciate them uh, for trying to make things right. They said they'll come out here next week whenever it dries out. And uh, everything else dries out. Everything's soaked out here because of the rains we had. But uh, they're going to come out next week. I'll probably end up showing those on some clips. Uh, it's going to be the gentleman who came out and put the anchors on my building. Very, very polite. We had a, a lot of good conversation when he was out here. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in common and uh, overall it was uh, nice to meet them and uh, have a good experience with them and I know they'll make this uh, right for me. So anyways, I hope you guys uh, took something out of this video. Uh, normally I don't try to teach anybody anything, but uh, this is a, a good learning experience for me and uh, hopefully you guys learn from my mistakes and uh, when you're looking at a shed to house, do y'all's research and ask a lot of questions. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to start getting back building on the house. Uh, we got to start working on the plumbing. I'm still waiting on the water company to respond back to me. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, apparently they don't like me for some reason. Who knows? I'm a, I'm a likable person. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Very glad that this uh, building withheld uh, the, or withstood the winds from that uh, tropical storm. About 65 mile an hour gust. This thing is rated at about 150 mile an hour, so it was uh, plenty strong enough to withstand those winds. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna stop talking. Hope you have a great day, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, guys.